What's going on YouTube? Brand new Modern Warfare 2 video. We're back on DMZ. We're back on the grind and we are completing our uh, Legion Tier 3 and that actually unlocks the Tycoon uh, Magnum Revolver Blueprint, which I'll show you guys here in game. But uh, yeah, we, we're going through all of the DMZ missions, showing you guys exactly how to unlock all the different tiers and all the different rewards. So if you guys do like that, make sure you guys do uh, press subscribe down below. Leave a like, leave a comment. With that being said, let's get into the video. All right, hopping over to DMZ, we see here Legion. Uh, we've completed all these tiers. We'll go through them real quick. So uh, let's remove the face cam as always. This one's really, really easy. Obviously, just travel to the El Bagra Fortress. Obviously, the 30 enemies can be AI. Very straightforward, very simple. Uh, travel to Osmara City. And the uh, drop-off location, is you guys can look it up, is very simple, very easy as well. Just make sure you guys load in with ammo boxes. You don't need to properly exfil as long as you actually dump the uh, equipment into the dumpsters. Uh, then over here, acquire a secure Intel contract. Very straightforward. Uh, and then you have to reveal the location of the enemy commander and then kill the commander. And so both of those are all... It kind of bugged out for me a little bit. So I completed the scan, no problem. And then the commander never showed. And so what actually I did was I actually went and killed the juggernaut who was holding the uh, weapon case for the blueprint uh, that you guys see on the map. That, I guess, also counts or did count for me at least. So I do recommend doing that if you guys do not find the commander on the map uh, when you guys complete the secure intel contract. Unlock room 302 in the top floor of the Sawa Hotel. Very straightforward, very easy. You do not need a room card. Um, this one, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube on how to get into that room without having a key card. Very straightforward. And then obviously just loot and extract the golden, uh, you know, the golden desert eagle from that room. Uh, moving on, they're just extracting different flash grenades, gas grenades, and snapshot grenades. Very straightforward, very easy. And then, uh, finally acquire a recon drone, tag 20 enemies with a recon drone at the Hafid port, and then kill 30 enemies at the Hafid port. Again, AI, very straightforward, very easy. You can just load in with a recon drone in your equipment and just get that done pretty quickly. Uh, especially if you have an ammo box as well. If your teammate has an ammo box and you guys can both kind of uh, get both done at the same time. Now, what I'm about to show you here in this video is this one right here. So kill 10 enemies at Malik uh, Airport with the Sagan MG38 with a 150 round mag and the Soshki bipod. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So let's go ahead and make that class real quick before we hop into DMZ here. So right here on weapons, we can go down here and we're going to build out. So we do need the Sagan MG38, as mentioned. And the only two attachments that we actually need is under magazine for the 150 round box mag and under barrel. For me, at least, I need to scroll all the way to the first one right here. The Skoshki uh, bipod right there. Now, I might add a couple other things. Again, we are taking down a helicopter as well as just getting kills. I'm more worried about the helicopters personally. So if I have ammunition for a uh, vehicle um damage like right here i would absolutely throw this on there uh for barrel i'm going to do something that's a little bit more accurate i don't really care too much about ads speed because again i just have to kill the bots which is not too bad i will get that blue dot sight on there for sure um and that's gonna be five right there so we're gonna load in and we're going to uh complete this uh these two challenges here by getting the 10 kills and then uh by yeah, 10 enemies and then shoot down the three helicopters so let's win a game and i'll show you guys exactly how to do this so a couple of things to note one obviously this does require you to be on top of the terminal you can i guess venture out and just be in the nearby area i found though that you have to be on top of the terminal for all every kill to count i did get a couple to count when i was like kind of off the side of the building but on top of the terminals where you want to be at especially for the helicopters i had one that didn't count because i wasn't on the main terminal roof so that was a real bummer. But as long as you stay on top of the terminal roof, you should be all set. Now, another thing to note too is two different kind of helicopters will spawn and drop enemies in. Uh, one being these smaller helicopters. So you'll see the one that flies in here is going to be uh, one of those right there. It's a little smaller. I think it carries like six enemies at maximum. And all you have to do is just wait until the uh, vehicle is disabled and then it will, it will blow up eventually. So we disable it right there and leave it be awesome the second type of helicopter is a lot longer and a lot bigger and takes a lot more bullets to take down i recommend almost leaving those alone unless they're landing right on top of you but the thing to, to note here too is as long as you kill all of the ai in the area these helicopters will keep on spawning so it might not seem like they all you know come in at the beginning of the map just wait it out kill all the ai in the area 
light those UAV towers, and eventually these helicopters will spawn. You just have to be patient and just put in the bullets. So with that being said, let's get our third helicopter here. Disabled. Bam, destroyed. Please count. Please count. Yes, it counted. Let's go. Done. Woohoo! Tycoon unlocked. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what the Tycoon looks like here in just one second. But let's go. Top of the airport. Take down three reinforcement helicopters with a taken MG38. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's take a look at the Tycoon. All right. So we successfully exfilled. We actually got 20,000 XP on top of the Tycoon as well. I definitely want to take a look at the Tycoon. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and go over the handguns. Tycoon's going to be a Basilic. Bam, right there. Let's take a look at what this looks like in the firing range. Although this blueprint is built for sprint to fire speed. Go, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and aiming idle stability. So pretty, pretty cool, actually. I might actually use this a lot in um, shipment. I know I do not have my Basilic Gold yet, so this will be very helpful with that. Um, but there's only two attachments. I'm curious. So yeah, you, you have your trigger action, the Basilic trigger action, and you have your rear grip right here as well. So uh, we are going to go ahead and let's load up into the firing range. So right off the bat, oh, pretty cool spinny. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Show them, show them, baby. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty sweet. Again, you know, there's no real inspect uh, animation besides this, so you can't really see the side of it, but you know, it looks really cool. Black little white stripes. Almost like a zebra. Pretty quick pretty quick ADS speed. Pretty quick sprint to fire time as well. I mean, let's see. Five rounds, sprinting. Long range. Nice little headshot. Okay. Okay, this looks pretty sweet. I know that we've got a couple other uh Tycoon or you know, Basilic um blueprints in the past, but this one. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like this one. It, it, it does aim down sight fast. It does fire fast. I know the Basilic, too, with the hammer. When you press the fire button, it sometimes has to come back before it shoots. There's a little bit of a delay from when you press the actual trigger versus when it actually shoots. But you can see right here, right? Like, I'm actually pressing the fire button. And it's actually going ahead and actually firing as it should. So, pretty responsive, which I like from the Basilic. I will probably be using this in the uh, shipment playlist here, the Naughty playlist. But uh, yeah, overall, really easy to get. Go ahead, unlock this for yourself. We'll be uploading a ton more DMZ content on unlocking all the different aspects of it. If you guys have a question on one of the missions uh, to unlock the Basilic, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be uh, answering to all of them as well. With that being said, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment down below. I'll see you guys later. Top box is that previous video, like always. And that bottom box is a mystery video, just like always. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a great day.